Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's good, everybody? Come through, come through, come through. Good morning to y'all. What up? We about to chop it up. What's good? Yeah, I'm going to wait for everybody who plan on joining us to come in. Give y'all a few seconds. All right? Listen, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this as a longer video right now, like a live, but I'm going to do this also as a shorter video. All right? Um, so let me highlight at y'all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right? Listen, it is very important right now, y'all, with everything that's going on. It's very important that we direct this energy towards something constructive and productive. You hear me? Listen, oftentimes in life, hard problems cannot be solved because people are unable to have hard conversations. Listen, this energy that a lot of people are feeling right now, it's all about what you do with that energy, right? We have to steer it towards something constructive and productive, all right? These conversations are happening. People are talking now. So as fans, I don't ask much from y'all, but I do have an ask for y'all now. This is very important. Listen, if you support what it is that I represent and what I stand for, or if you know my heart and you've been seeing the work I've been doing for the past 15 years, it is very important that right now that you publicly, look, she said, I met you 11 years ago in New Orleans. You've always been a positive movement, You're right? Like, whether you just find out about me or you've been knowing what I've been doing, it's very important right now that you publicly and verbally, what up, what up, Pastor Jerry? What up, my brother? It's very important that you publicly and verbally express your support for what it is that we're talking about, all right? It's very important that you express that. And not just to me, because it seems as if the conversation that has been been sparked with my three brothers who I, who I named, uh, Rick Ross, Meek Mill, Jim Jones. It seems as if, which this is okay in life, like the world is huge and it's small at the same time. It seems as if like the brothers not knowing me, saying that they don't know me, in their mind potentially discredits the, the, the message that I'm putting out there, right? The message about like, like us, being better as a people, right? In our lyrics, in our lyrical content. With that being said, it's very important that you all, I, you could be supporting me all you want on my page. Listen, I got thousands of y'all that's DMing me, telling me y'all love me and y'all support me. I got hundreds of phone calls and text messages that's coming in. Everybody want to tell me they supporting me. That's cool. Listen, there's no part of me that is like, questioning my own motives or afraid of anything in this moment. There's no part of me that feels like that at all. But it's very important that that energy that y'all have, that y'all can let those brothers know. So it will, be, it will be powerful for you all. This world is big and small at the same time. So you'll be surprised. Everybody is checking their Instagram comments. Now, when you go on somebody's page in their Instagram comments and it's seeming like you've been sent there to... Uh, belittle them and you've been sent there to take cheap shots at them you know that's something that i have never done and i never advocate never 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 advocate all right so what i'm saying though is the ability to say oh i can go hop in jim jones comments i can go hop in jim jones dms and actually like let him know my heart or let him know that uh that you know i stand with what d1 is saying and and we praying for you, Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? We rooting for you because I'm rooting for them. Don't ever forget the core of what I said, which is I love you all too much to not be honest with you. We can do better, yo. I'm telling y'all that right now. We can do better. And this is how we do it. Having hard conversations can lead to us solving hard problems. And we got a lot of hard problems. So that's what's important for me right now. That's so important. Everybody could come and tell me, oh, uh, this person's response was this. I know people have taken shots at my character at this point. People have called me names. Guess what? 
None of that stuff impacts me at all, y'all. None of that stuff. People have made what could be perceived as threats, direct or indirect. None of that stuff impacts me at all, y'all. I serve a bigger God. I really do. And proudly. You know what I mean? Proudly. But this world is small. So if you all, somebody said, bro, what you need us to do? If you all can go and make sure that your voice is heard verbally, if you are public, because if you just, if you want to ride the fence, if you want to play the middle and you don't want to pick a side, if you don't want to pick a side right now, then you ain't got nothing to tell me. You know what I mean? Because you, you just want to be an observer and I still won't be mad at you, but that's different than all these thousands of people that's hitting me. I want to tell y'all something while I got all these people, all these people on this live. There are celebrities from all over this world who y'all know them by name, A-listers, B-listers. Everybody is hitting me in my DM right now saying that they support me. They love me. Keep going. Everybody, all these athletes, these high profile athletes, all these high profile rappers, all these high profile people in the faith based community, pastors, everybody that's hitting me. Hitting me and telling me to keep going, I appreciate it, but just know I was keeping going even before y'all knew who I was. Like, so I appreciate it, but I am not a person that is like, on, that's only going because of this moment. I was going before this moment and I was keeping going regardless of this moment. So now that this moment is here, of course, I'm going to keep going. Because God has me on a mission until the day he calls me home. But everybody that's hitting me, it does nothing when you hit me. It lets me know that you, you're aware of what's going on. But this is an opportunity where we can see how big this world is, but how small this world is. So pay attention. So when you can go now, if it seems like D1 is sending out a bunch of people to go out here and just belittle these brothers and they just feel like, oh, man. D1 just on a hate campaign, a smear campaign. That's not the energy I have come with at all. So it's very important that the energy that I'm coming with, that y'all keep that energy. I got people making fun of me. I got people making threats against me. I got all that type of stuff happening. And look at me. Same demeanor, same disposition. I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Same one. Still doing me. I got a concert in Atlanta tonight. I'll be there. People like, well, you going to really go outside? What you mean? I was in Florida last night. Had a speaking engagement in Florida and an event for my children's book. Working with the youth in Florida, then going right next door and doing a speaking engagement to a room full of adults at this fire gala. Encouraging literacy in the urban community. This is not going to stop. Like, my work is not going to stop. So I'll be in Atlanta tonight. I'll be performing tonight live. If y'all in Atlanta, come through. But I need y'all to understand that, that they say where we're at is 829 Hollywood Road. That's the address. 829 Hollywood Road in Atlanta. Concert from 6 to 10. All right? But everybody that's hitting me, that's showing all this love and all this support, I need y'all to understand that this is about real impact being made. This is about real change being made and the conversation has been sparked. There's no one in hip hop that's not aware of what's going on right now. The Joe Budden podcast just covered this. Joe Budden, you know, his whole take on it. Like this world is big and small. It's big enough to where apparently none of these brothers know who I am. But it's also big enough to where I have impacted millions of people and millions of people know who I am. And can attest to my heart, as well as my smarts, as well as my art. Because all I'm here to do is do God's work, speak truth, and spit fire on that microphone. But if anybody is unwilling at this point to say, let me be a part of that change that I see that D1 has helped to spark right now. Because that's all this is about. This ain't about, this ain't about no come up for me, y'all. I'm up. I'm up. I've been up. And I'm not a greedy person. You feel me? So this is not about that. But this world is so small that there's a lot of people who know me and Jim Jones. There's a lot of people who know me and Rick Ross. There's a lot of people who know me and Meek Mill personally. 
Those people, if any of them are watching or if any of them get this, those people have an opportunity to say, okay, in this moment, we're going to make this turn into something constructive. Because what I have never done, what I have never done is gotten to the point where it's like, oh, this is just a smear campaign or this is just something where I'm trying to talk about somebody's character. Oh, 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 I'm glad you said that. Who that? Smooth 33. It's also not about using their names for clout. It's absolutely not about that. But I realized that in this time that we living in, man, I'm so glad y'all are on this live right now. I wanted to condense this whole message into like a minute and a half. And I was like, it's, it's kind of, it's challenging right now, you know, to say so much um, with, with, with so little time. So I had to do this. Listen, people will call this chasing clout if they don't know me, but all of y'all know me. Curtis King, you know me. Set apart, you know me. I'm just reading in the comments right now. So all of y'all, y'all know me. So y'all know my heart. Van, Van boy, you about to make me, about to make me shed a tear on this thing. Van Lathan knows me. You feel me? So, when I see somebody like Van who's doing the work behind the scenes to say, oh, yeah, I know this brother and I know this brother. I'm about to help build that bridge. That is priceless in this moment. And if you're a fan and you're just watching this right now and you're not willing to publicly to publicly talk about your support of me, it does no good in just my comment section. It does no good just texting me and telling me that everybody reads their Instagram comments. Let these brothers know. That y'all know who I am. Because what, what we don't want this to turn into is brothers who I consider peers. We're in the same industry. Brothers who I have been listening to for years. And we know a lot of the same people. But hey, they say they don't know me. I'm not mad at that. Millions of people do know me. Millions of people have been impacted by my work over the last 15 years. But if the world just and the stars were aligned to where in this moment. This message is reaching the masses, but the brothers that are receiving it are feeling like, who is he? He's an outsider. Then if they're looking like, oh, he don't seem like he about that action, you know what I mean? So maybe we're going to get a little more aggressive in terms of our response to him. This is the time to where it's like, oh, the stars have aligned to put the ball in y'all hands. To where they're like, oh, wow, I just got 5,000 comments and it wasn't about my new music video I just posted. It's about people who clearly are riding with what D1 represents. Y'all don't even have to be riding with me and be all the way agreeing with everything I stand for. Some of y'all are like, D, I rock with your message, but I'm not a Christian. But I still just rock with your message and how you presenting it and I know your heart. Some of y'all are like, D, I'm a Christian and I know you riding for God at the end of the day, but, um, you know, I haven't, uh, I haven't, Agree with this or with that from you. Da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? Ever what's up, M11? Listen, I don't need to talk to five thousand people. Yesterday I got about a thousand phone calls. How many minutes are in a day, man? One thousand four hundred forty minutes, sixty times twenty-four. Fourteen hundred forty minutes in a day, man. I got about a thousand phone calls yesterday. If you add in texts, if you add in uh, DMs, and if you add in the fact that I had to catch a flight to Florida and go and be composed enough to go do a speaking engagement and then an event for my children's book, like, that's a lot, yo. I can't talk to everybody. So I'm going to talk to 1,300 of y'all right now. You know what I'm saying? And let y'all know that I understand the severity of Evil, when evil can invade a space. Not people, not evil people, but evil working through people. I've had evil work through me. I also understand how crucial a moment is when you realize this right here, this has the ability, this has the ability to initiate a shift. And hard conversations is how you solve hard problems. So hopefully we don't take the easy route, the traditional route, which is, oh, no, we just beefing. We just beefing. 
I haven't taken not one personal shot and the personal shots or jabs that's been thrown towards me, man, I take that stuff like a Teflon Don, you hear me? Straight up. Cause that stuff doesn't that stuff doesn't impact me, man. Come on, man. Rockstar JT, what's up, little bro? I got a concert. I'm in Atlanta tonight. Yes, we definitely gonna be in there. Come on, y'all come through. But that's all I'm telling y'all. But we're used to this stuff turning into something destructive. We gotta turn this into something constructive. So me being the leader in this in this instance. And y'all being people that's rocking with me, what I'm telling y'all is your public, your public support, your public verbal support, that matters. That matters. Because if it just seemed like me just picking on, you know, three giants in the industry, if it just seems like that, then that could be something that has a whole different. What up, D? What up, Dayton? I know you are, bro, and I love you for that. And, and it's from a pure place, too. It's not from a opportunistic standpoint or place, brother. I, I love that. Thank you, brother. But that's all I'm saying, man. It's a lot to say, yo. It's a lot to say. Um, what else? Y'all got me feeling like a uh y'all got me feeling like a like a like a politician in here. I wrote some notes down. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I mean I said everything without even looking at this stuff. Um, you know, People who try to call me a clout chaser, that right there, that is a super, super, like, low-level way of trying to deflect from what this, uh, what this moment is and, and what this issue is centered around, all right? If I'm just talking, if I'm just talking into the atmosphere and just saying stuff, and this is what Joe Budden was talking about, if, 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 I'm, if I'm not giving... Real example, what's up, brother Craig? If I'm not giving real examples about this stuff that I'm referring to, that I feel like we could do better as a culture, but if I'm not referencing specific examples in the culture, like it's not, you know, it, it, it's not, it's not something that, that 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 resonates the same. Everybody can hypothetically talk. When you have an issue with the president, you talk about Trump. When you have an issue with the president, you talk about what Trump ain't doing right or what Biden ain't doing right or what Obama ain't, ain't doing right or could be doing better. Straight up. So I just want y'all to understand that. The end game is for a better tomorrow for all of us. What up, Turk? Triple salute, brother. Um, I did say something else. Uh, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you're not tired of What's going on in the world? If you're not tired of what's going on in our community specifically, if you're not tired of the direction of hip hop culture, then you could shut up and you could sit this one out. And it's no disrespect. So I don't mean shut up in a bad way. But if you're not tired of it, then no, 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 not shut up. You could either sit this one out or you could you could oppose me right now. If you're not tired of it, you could oppose me right now because I'm getting louder I'm getting more loving. I'm getting better at communicating. By the way, I got to say this, and this ain't no personal indictment, but all three of the brothers whose name was called out in love have all called people's names out at various points in their career for different reasons other than trying to spread some sort of, uh, some sort of truth or the love of God or wanting to steer the entire culture and humanity for these kids specifically in a different direction. All three have called people's names out before. So I do want to say that. The other thing I want to tell y'all is I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. There's no, there's no, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for this. Or I'm sorry for that. This is not about that at all. But it's also not about me saying, well, I'm a man and that's a man. So now we just going to have to see, may the last man standing, you know, come out victorious. This is not about that. We need to be standing together so that we could come out even more victorious. Yeah, Van, I'm up for it, bro. I had to take a night, bro, to thank and, and pray, man. Like, it's, I got a thousand calls yesterday, man. These people, the, my phone bill gonna be crazy, man. Just because they ain't used to seeing somebody phone ringing like that. I'm like, bro, if a thousand of y'all calling me, then go jump in his comments. Go jump in Jim Jones' comments and, and, and let him know something. But with, but with the D1 spirit, Cause they got people that's hitting me 
that's, you know, that, and that's, never mind, Lord. But yeah, so that's all I'm saying, yo. Like, like, yeah, I'm up for it, you know, but this gotta be, and listen, at this point, I don't, Van, I'm going to say this to you and I'm going to say this to everybody. I don't want there to be anything lingering when it comes to this. Because at the end of the day, this, this has sparked a conversation that can, that can have epic, monumental results that come from it that everyone is better for. The only people that won't be better for it will be the people who, 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 who want to see the continued perpetuation of what this industry is doing to us. The industry takes advantage of artists who can be bought. The industry takes advantage of artists who are literally like, man, that type of bread hard to pass on. And not everybody is, is in that position to just pass on that stuff. The industry, with that being said, we can shift the power from being in the industry's hands to being in our hands as artists. That is why I like to address artists. If I talk. Hold on, y'all. I got to put my phone on D&D. &D. Here we go with these calls. Hold on. We back? Yeah. All right. So look, so that's all I'm saying. That is why I address artists. Because these are my brothers. And now some conversations are uncomfortable, but just like just like anything else in life, when you get through uncomfortable conversations, then you solve uncomfortable problems. And uncomfortable problems get avoided in this culture because nobody wants to talk to one another. Man, I hope y'all hear me, man. Uncomfortable conversations and uncomfortable problems in this culture get avoided because nobody wants to talk directly to one another about them. Nobody. So I was put here for this time. I was put here for this moment. Right where I'm at. Big enough to where millions of people know me. To where New Orleans don't play about me. To where the faith-based community, I'm talking about Multiple faith-based communities. You heard me? Multiple faith-based communities. They, they, they literally like, man, we know your heart, young brother. We rocking with you. So I'm there, but I'm also not a person to where I guess I was on a level to where maybe I can't speak all the way real because of some friendships. And that might rub my friend the wrong way. You know what I mean? So that's all I'm saying, yo. But at this point, like it, the ball is in y'all, um, um, the ball is in y'all court. Like, I, I, and I need y'all. My audio skipping. Damn, man. That's, I should have put my phone on D and D. Can y'all hear me? They say I need to link with currency. Man, me and currency been knowing each other our whole lives, man. Literally, we grew up across the street from each other. So. We could talk on whatever level about anything. I would love that too. You know, I just, yeah. But that's all I'm saying, yo. That's all I'm saying. All right, y'all can hear me. That's all I'm saying. At this point, if you don't, if you're not willing to these blogs that's posting about it, like some of y'all going in there commenting on them, thank you. On their pages to where they can see, thank you. Because at this point, like my man Van said, at this point, it got to be conversations that's happening between us. It got to be. It got to be. No matter what somebody's saying, no matter if somebody's saying, oh, ain't no talking now. Like we human beings and we say things in the moment, but we oftentimes sit back and cooler heads prevail. Because we all doing well. We all in great positions in life professionally. And with that being said, it took intelligence to get us here. It took intelligence to get us here. So that's all I'm saying, yo. So I want to empower other artists to know that this type of dialogue can be constructive. To also know that you can make it in this industry and in this world. 
and be standing on what you've been standing on for a long time. And that's where I'm at. I am the definition of that. And I'm only one definition of that. There are so many amazing examples. So many. So, but the people who know us both at this point, Van, thank you, bro. You, you started doing it already. Shout out to my little, man. Y'all don't know, it almost brought me to tears yesterday seeing my little, my little bro, my former student, Fred O'Bang, younger than all of us, you heard me? Younger than everybody that's having this talk. And me being like, dang, I was once his teacher having to get him out of conflicts and make sure he stayed on the straight and narrow so he could finish school and do his best and become, you know, the best version of who he could, who, who he could be, right? And now he's sitting here making moves, intervening, doing things, making big dog, big dog calls and decisions and helping build bridges. Like that was literally like a full circle moment for me yesterday where I'm like, hold on, man. This is my student doing this. You know what I'm saying? I understand some people don't want that to happen. Some people just like, man, what's the next? What's the next headline? What's the next gossiping uh, quote that somebody going to say? You know? So all of y'all prayers are appreciated. But make sure that y'all go to where nobody in this world, because anything that happens, anything that happens, it got to be public at this point. It got to be public. Y'all going to see the public construction of, build, uh, of bridges being built. Y'all going to see the public unification of people who might be on different pages about certain things or have been on different pages. But the public education, the public um, unification of, of people or like I'm sure the enemies right now want to see the enemies in the industry and even some people that's probably watching this. Or who just enjoy just a good old headline. They want to see something destructive happen. They do. They do. They do. So it's a lot of people. And, and I know. And there's some people in the industry too. Who like people dealing with their own things man. They dealing with their own things. So who knows yo. Here we go. Look for every 10,000 people that's like D we rocking. We got you. We got a person like a troll who says, I'm not going to call you a troll. A person who says a whole week of discussion about other men. You started it and are wrong, brother. <laughs> we got a person like that. We got a person like that. Who your commentary will not stop anything that I got going on. But your perspective is important because there's a thousand more people who think just like you. So I understand that we're reaching millions at this point. And there's more people who think like you. A whole week of discussing other men. As if we are not all created equal. As if we are not talking about the character of men. And the amazing character and the amazing grit and ingenuity and skill sets of men. But if we're just talking about the public output of men. And this public output reaches millions of people. As if we're not talking about that, yo. But there's people who, that's their perception of this. That's their perception. So it has to be addressed. It has to be. So that's what I'm telling y'all, yo. Is less, because at, at this point, at this point, we had a fork in the road. I believe that the comments in the video that got put out yesterday that was addressing me, I believe that that, that, that has brought us to a fork in the road. About which way is this going to go now? And that's why I get a thousand phone calls and all that. But at this point, now it's important that y'all speak up. Because the more that y'all speak up on y'all public platform. Everybody on this live right now. All 1200 something people. Y'all are all a news station. All of y'all are a news station. You know why? Because you have a public platform. And you reach different people. And you reach different amounts of people. But all of y'all have a public platform. So with that, with that public platform, you can leave comments, not just on my page. You can leave comments on the pages of Jim Jones, of Rick Ross, of Meek Mill. But it's important that I don't just send y'all out here like some crash dummies. Because this is not about beef. This is about bridges. This is about bridges, yo. So with that being said, I'm putting that out there, man. Um...
that's my message to the fans. I wanted to make it a minute and a half, but I knew that that was impossible. So, uh, so yeah. Um, everybody who want to talk and who been calling, like I said, don't ever take it as uh, disrespect if I'm not able to uh, um, answer. Oh, you said they deleting your comments. So some of y'all, so y'all leaving comments and the comments are being deleted or y'all are being blocked. Okay, that's a plot twist. Okay. Okay, that's a plot twist. All right. All right. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. We we got to keep going. We got to keep trying. And it all has to be done in, in a spirit of love. If it seems like a, a, another spirit other than love, if it seems like a spirit other than love, then that's not cool. Um, myself included. If anything that I say is ever seeming like it's coming from a different type of place, and I think that's what happened here, y'all. For everybody that's watching, man, I wish these brothers was watching right now. I wish these brothers was watching right now. Because if, if it genuinely seems like what I said, word for word, if it seems like that came from anything other than a spirit of love, then... That's part of where the disconnect is. If it seems like, oh, who is this dude? He just chasing clout. That's what the industry love to just cast this off as, man. And it's not that. I promise y'all it's not that. So before I get off this live, man, I'm going I'm to pray. I'm going to pray over this whole situation, all right? Um, that's one of my new nicknames, Preacher Man. You heard me? I got Baskethead. I got Lil Man. I got Preacher Man. I got Fake Rasta. And I got... uh. I don't know. I forgot the other ones. And I don't say that being sarcastic, y'all. Like, it's all it's all love to me, all right? Uh, Father God, we come to you right now during an unprecedented time, definitely in my life. Like, this ain't, this ain't scripted. <clears throat> this definitely ain't scripted. And, um... We just need you. We need you to be the powerful God that you are because you can help to overcome any miscommunication, any misdirection, any, um, any misunderstandings that may be present right now. It's very important that I continue to serve you during this time and that everyone who's a part of this has a heart that's being formed to ultimately serve you better. Because this is not about me and this is not just about specific individuals. We are human beings who are carrying out spiritual actions. With that being said, I'm just praying for the best of all of us. The artists named, I pray for Jim Jones. I pray for Meek Mill. I pray for Rick Ross. But I also pray for every media outlet, every fan that's a part of this. <clears throat> that's a part of this because because it's at a <clears throat> is at a point where this is a pivotal moment in hip hop history. And we had a fork in the road, God. So whatever direction it goes in is based on which spirit prevails. I'm riding with you all day. People need to speak up, God. And they're not all ready to. They're not all equipped to. That's okay. But the ones who know they can and they're equipped to. Not in a... <clears throat> not in a neutral way. That's not speaking up. Being neutral... And just want to facilitate convos, that's not speaking up. I could stay on Instagram live all day and just have my own convos. 
God, give people the strength and the courage to speak up right now publicly. Publicly, if they support what I represent and what I want to see more of and what I'm speaking out against because I'm not speaking out against individuals. I'm speaking out against lyrical content and certain actions from individuals. That's all this is. You know my heart, God. That's all I'm focused on. So, anything else, um, anything else, it's, it's gonna be what it is. <clears throat> So God, you got this. You got this. God, I'm going um, to bless this concert tonight. And God, um, man, just keep me composed, sure. I don't mind. <clears throat> and God, I don't mind all this playing out publicly because it's, ah, it's bigger than me. It's bigger than me. It's bigger than us. It's about these kids. It's about these kids. It's about the direction of this world and this industry. <clears throat> so, God, you got me. Ain't no fear. Ain't no fear. Ain't no fear. Ain't no fear at all. And God, you know that about me. So, yep. I'm, I'm human. I'm human. In Jesus' name, amen. Crazy prayer. All over the place. <clears throat> but anyway, I just didn't want to have no uh, 
I didn't want to start. Yeah, I had to be legible. My bad for all the silence. But yeah, y'all, we good, man. If y'all in Atlanta, I'm going to see y'all tonight. And um, y'all know what to do. All right? And if you don't know what to do, then um, it's not for you to do. All right, peace.